All right, so I just woke up to some pretty huge wrestling news, and that's why my eyes are shot. Like, just woke up. This is huge. Like, this is this is one of the biggest uh, wrestling announcements outside of WWE that I can remember since being a wrestling fan. Chris Jericho will be taking on and facing Kenny Omega at Wrestle Kingdom 12 at the Tokyo Dome, January 4, 2018. Wow, I am I am actually shocked. I am really shocked because Jericho seemed to be one of those guys where he would not. He, he said it before many times. He will, he said I will never wrestle outside the WWE because the WWE is where like it's it's his home, and so he's been talking and jibber jabbing back and forth on Twitter with with Kenny Omega. Nobody took it seriously. I mean, like the the big running rumor was that Jericho is going to be a part of this like. He's doing like a wrestling cruise thing where it's like a like a, a regular cruise. Well, I don't know however long where they go around, but like the wrestlers will not only wrestle on the cruise, but they'll just be there too, hanging out with fans and whatnot. So everybody assumed, well, that's where he's probably going to do it. No, he's going to be doing it for Japan's WrestleMania, essentially. Like I've never ordered one of these pay-per-views before. Uh, I've held out and said that if New Japan gets. Daniel Bryan, he'll be Bryan Danielson when he goes, but uh, I was like, I, I probably will order it for him. Uh, I will probably order this now. Like More than likely, Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega will sway me to order my first ever Wrestle Kingdom. So, I, I'm almost speechless about this. Like, the amount of money they must have thrown at Chris Jericho to get this match, to make this happen, this is huge for them. Like, this is gigantic if this is this is has this will have to be one of the most purchased pay-per-views outside of wwe of all time like the hype for this is going to be unreal like as of filming this it's 6 a.m i went to bed super early by the way but it's 6 a.m and that is like once this gets around it's going to be huge jericho uh popped up i guess during an event a new japan event uh on on the titan tron or their titan tron whatever and challenged omega and omega accepted so like Holy shit. Uh, I just want to get your thoughts on this on the Job Radio channel. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Are you guys as excited as I am? I think this is potentially great. I know Jericho is potentially a little past his prime, obviously. Like, he's not as good as he used to be, but for his age, he's still pretty damn good. Uh, but he does have a history of having bad matches in new companies, so... We'll see. Uh, this should be very interesting. Like I said, I'm probably going to drop my money on it, but I'm just curious what uh, the Job Radio crew all thinks about it. And we'll, uh, we'll have a discussion in the comments. All right.